What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here from GuitarJams.com. Hope you're doing great out there. Uh, had some requests for some bluegrass lessons. Now, I'm by no means a bluegrass expert, and I'm a huge fan of the music. Uh, a lot of inspiring, amazing, uh, amazing musicians out there in that genre. But I've got a cool basic scale for you to start on. You can have a lot of fun with it, and uh, that's what we're here for. Well, that's what I'm here for. Uh, anyway, I appreciate all your extra support and the links that I've got below this box. All kinds of bonus stuff. I really appreciate it. Uh, but let's zoom in and work this one out. Here we go. But I want to show you the, you know, the most typical bluegrass scale uh, or jam grass, so to speak. Show you the scale, and it's kind of ironic because it's the exact same thing as the E blues scale, um, but in in the uh, relative major key. So don't get scared when I start saying that gobbledygook kind of theory stuff. Um, basically, if I had an E blues, right, you know, the E blues scale would look like this. And so that's the, called the E minor pentatonic with the blues note, or you could call it the E blues scale. It's zero, which is the root. So the E note of this scale is what our ears hear as home bass and what we're, we're hearing the other tones with the reference point of E feeling like home, okay? All human ears do that. Uh, whether you have no musical ability at all, we hear and associate keys. Um, so with the E blues, the E is what we're referencing, which is also right here, and also in the high E, okay? O3, O1, 2, O2, O2, 3, <clears throat> O3, O3. And you use that over an E blues. Now the relative major of that is the G note. So what's happening is we play that same scale, same pool of notes, everything the same, but our point of reference that our ear is hearing and what all the other notes are relating to is a G note now. So then you would have to play it this way. You'd start on that G note and then play the scale up and hopefully you can hear it, watch. So trying to establish that G, the key of G, right? Now watch if I play that scale starting on that note. What's cool too is you can still get blues sound <clears throat> by just toying with that regular minor pentatonic up here. And then get back to it. But let me show you those <clears throat> that classic thing. So we've got a ring finger I like on the root, and then you can do the O12. And then the O on the on the D string, and then two on the D string, then open. So it looks like this. And then the open G. Now an octave up, you can do this, open G, and then I'm doing the 
two, three, four hammer on. And then the third on the B. Five, two, oh, sorry, three, five, three. Three on the high E is a G. But then really what's good to practice is just up and down that scale. And make sure you end on that G, any of the G notes, which are the third fret, third fret here, and then the open G. So try and hear that as home bass. What's fun is adding a C chord and a D chord and then play that scale in between. So watch, we got a G chord, we'll mess with the scale. And then I'll go to a C, scale again. Scale again. point is to work try and use that E blue scale over G major stuff and keep practicing and you'll find some classic little licks in there and you'll have a lot of fun too <laughs>